Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video and please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Okay guys, for today's video, I finally did a tutorial with this baby. This has been so highly requested here on my channel. I finally got my hands on it. So not only does that mean you're gonna be getting a lot of tutorials and reviews, but also my giveaway is that much closer to being announced. So please guys, make sure you stick around until the absolute end of the video. I will be announcing the date that the mystery box giveaway will be going up on my channel as well as the giveaway winner. So definitely guys, make sure you're subscribed and that notification notification bell is hit so you don't miss that and yeah guys for today's video I wanted to do a very gorgeous just like the perfect smoky eye moment with this bad boy and guys before we get started with the tutorial I wanted to remind you that Jeffrey is going to be having a giant restock of Jawbreaker conspiracy as well as the cremated palette we know that it's gonna be on Saturday and we know that it's gonna be on all of his retailers so make sure you guys check out my in-depth review of the cremated palette I will link that up here as well as in the description box down below so I did an in-depth review of the palette including swatches so you guys can really determine on if you should buy the palette I also included my thoughts on the palette you guys know I'm an absolute Jeffree Star cosmetics junkie but I always keep it real on this channel I will never give you a sugar-coated review it's always a hundred percent authentic so definitely make sure you check out that video as well as the gloss video that I did I also reviewed all of the glosses in the the cremated collection so definitely make sure before the restock happens that you check out those videos so you can figure out which products you want to buy which one you want to skip on and yeah guys if you want to see a tutorial on how I did this stunning gorgeous and wearable smoky eye then please keep watching okay guys let's get started with the tutorial so for today's look I didn't want to go in immediately and do something really vampy and dark and gothic. I really wanted to play up on the sultriness that I see in this palette. I wanted to do a look where you would wear to like a wedding, a New Year's, something like that. And I love the way this turned out. I feel like it's such an approachable smoky eye. And another thing guys I wanted to note. So as you can tell, I've already started by doing one eye and I will note that there is a good amount of fallout more than I'm used to from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. But again, when you do really, really dark shades, you pretty much, you know that it goes without saying you're gonna get fallout on your face. But I did wanna make that little critique. And like I mentioned, guys, a way more in-depth review of the palette is already on my channel. And that has been linked in the description box. So make sure if you're very curious about what it's like and my thoughts on the actual palette, definitely check out that video. So guys, like I mentioned, there is a lot of fallout. We're going to first put a little bit of translucent setting powder under the eyes so I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Too Faced Peach Perfect and just put a little bit extra under my eyes because my face is already done and I don't want it to get messed up all right translucent setting powder is on and we're ready to jump in with this gorgeous amazing palette so the first shade we're gonna be using is this shade right on the end here it's called the morgue I love this color guys the mattes in here are super beautiful they blend like a dream everything like what we're usually expecting from Jeffree so I'm gonna go in with a medium sized blender. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills A25. I'm gonna dip into that The Morgue shade and I'm just gonna start to work that into the corner first, the outer corner. And then I'm gonna just drag that through the whole crease. And as you can see, I'm using circular motions as well as windshield wiper. And we're just pretty much gonna be building up this color to get it to a nice level. Guys, as you can see, oh, these blend out like a dream, like it does the work for you. I'm usually so apprehensive about grays and blacks and dark, cool toned colors. This just, oh, like I, it was a pleasure to do. Pleasure to use this palette, love it. So pretty. So guys, because this is a really soft faded look, what you're gonna wanna do is keep most of the pigment on the outer corner of the eye. And once your brush is a little bit pigment free, that's when we're gonna just drag it right through because we do definitely still want that dark backdrop because as you can tell here, we're gonna go in and cut the crease. 
Okay, once we've taken that shade to about here, we're ready to dip in with our next color. That is going to be this Grave Digger shade here. So I'm gonna dip in with a slightly smaller blender. This is my Wayne Goss 19. And again, I'm gonna coat the brush. And guys, look, I don't know if you can see. There's a good amount of fallout. Like I'm not necessarily used to this much from Jeffrey. Again, not complaining. It's not gonna deter me from using the palette or how wonderful the palette is, but just important to note, I think. So we're gonna take that. We're gonna just start by, again, building up in the outer corner. And we're just kind of using like little flicky motions just to place that on. We're making sure the pigment is on that outer corner. And then slowly, we're going to take windshield wiper motions as well as circular and run that through the entire crease. Guys, it's really important to note when you're using dark or cool tone shades like this, it's very easy to get it out of hand really fast. So my suggestion to you would be to go in with less and slowly start to build it up. Because I know everyone has said it a million times, but you can always add more. But once you put that much pigment on your eye, all you can pretty much do is smear it around and you're gonna get panda eyes real quick. So yeah, less is more and just take your time with it. Really enjoy the process, you know what I mean? Go in, do really small circular motions, just finesse it and honestly, if I can do it, you can do it. You're gonna have the smokiest blended eye of your dreams, that's a promise. So I'm just continuing with that Grave Digger shade. I'm just making sure it's built up to the level I want and it's nice and blended. So now I'm gonna switch to my MAC 221. I'm gonna dip in now with this shade here, Hearst. So that's the matte black of the palette. I will say, guys, I have found that his other blacks are way more impactful. I feel like I kept applying this and then when I would blend it out, it kind of would just blend away and it wouldn't give me that depth and darkness I wanted. So it's just important to note that. I still think it's a really, really pretty and it's very pivotal to have this shade in the palette. I just wish it was a little bit like darker, almost almost more inky, if that makes sense. So I am just literally placing that on the outer corner like I've been with all of the other shades and then slowly working that through the crease. Okay guys, to kind of blend that out and make it look really seamless, I'm gonna go back in with this Morgue shade here. I'm gonna go back with my Anastasia A25 and I'm literally going to just really make sure there's not too much pigment on here. I'm going to just go over top of what we laid out just to make sure it's nice smoky perfection. At this point, we're pretty much ready to cut the crease. For that today, I'm gonna to be using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and it's in the shade Zero, so it is just a stark white shade. I've loaded that up onto my MAC 242. I always cut my crease with this brush, guys. If you ever wanted to get into cut creases, but you have a little bit of trouble, or you just really are looking for a good cut crease brush, I highly suggest the MAC 242. It's just so, I don't know if you can see, it is so sharp and the perfect shape that you can just carve out the perfect cut crease. So what we're gonna do is we're going to give a swipe on the eye. Then we're gonna look up, see where that imprints and start carving. Okay guys, once your crease is cut, we're ready to go in with our shimmer. So for that, the first one we're gonna be going in with is Mausoleum. So what I'm gonna do is actually guys, <laughs> My nails are still super short, so luckily I can go in with my finger. I would usually go in with a brush because I just can't get really that precise with my finger, obviously, but my nail appointment is not until Saturday, so I still get this luxury. So what I'm gonna do is go in and I'm just gonna place that on the lid. Like, wow, guys, these shimmers, while they're different than his usual formula, these colors are stunning. Like there's this undertone of a glitter in there. Oh wow, guys, it is honestly so, so, so pretty. So we're just pretty much loading that up onto the eyelid and I'm not going into the really precise parts. For that, I will go back with that MAC 242 just because I can't get obviously in there with my finger. But as you'll notice as well, I'm leaving this outer corner open because I'm gonna be going in with this uh, shade here after life in there with the brush because I can't get in there with my finger. So now I'm gonna clean up those edges. I'm gonna go in with the mask and I'm just gonna make sure this is perfect. And then I'm gonna take that same brush. I'm gonna dip in with Afterlife 
and just put that on the inner corner. Now that those shimmers are on, I'm gonna dip in a teeny tiny bit with the shade here, last look. I'm just gonna take this. Guys, these feel wet on your finger, by the way. So pretty. I'm just gonna stamp this right along where that dark matte end is and where we laid that shimmer down. Like it just helps it blend and it just adds such a beautiful dynamicness to it. Then we're gonna go now and we're gonna re-deepen that outer corner. So I'm gonna dip back in with the morgue and I'm just gonna make sure that outer corner is nice and deep. And then just to help this just look very, very faded and blended in, I want the colors to look very gradient deep. I'm gonna go in with this shade here, Life Insurance. I'm gonna take that on that same MAC 221. I'm just going to stamp this along where that dark and light meet. And you'll find that it just really helps that gradient and the colors just seamlessly blend into one another. Okay guys, once we've taken it to here, we're pretty much done with the shadow portion for the top of the eye. So what I'm gonna do now is quickly hop off camera. I'm gonna do a black wing liner. For that, as per usual, I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex. Then I'm also gonna throw on a pair of lashes. Today, I'm wearing Lily Lashes in the style Doha, which is honestly top five, one of my favorite styles. So I'm gonna go quickly do that, and then I'm gonna hop back on to do the lower lash line and finishing touches with you guys. Okay guys, lashes and liner are on, and for the lower lash line I want to keep it really soft and simple I don't want something too uncle festery or like really smoked out at the bottom so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with this the morgue shade I'm gonna dip in with my flat liner brush this is my Mac 212 and I'm just going to make sure I tap off the extra guys because uh, that was really annoying cleaning up underneath my eyes it got messed up let's not get into it but Definitely don't want to do that again. So make sure that's tapped off. So what I'm doing is just stamping along where this waterline is, just underneath where all the hairs are. I don't want it to be too crazy smoky, like I mentioned, just like a teeny tiny bit. So when it's here, that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave it. Then I'm gonna dip into the shade here, Last Respect. I'm gonna take this onto a very teeny tiny blender. This is my Wayne Goss 20. I love it for doing my lower lash line. I'm just going to smoke out very lightly what we just laid down with that shade. That's pretty much where we want to keep the shadow. Now what I'm going to do is quickly put in some nude liner. As per usual, I'll be using my NARS Rue Bonaparte. Guys, this is an amazing nude gel liner. A ton of you always ask me about it and click on it in my description box. So now I'm going to quickly line inside my waterline. Then I'm going to top it off with some Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. And now to top everything off, we're gonna go in with this shade here, Diamond Ashes. Now, be forewarned guys, you need like a slight touch of this and that's it. Any more than that and your whole eye look is ruined, honestly. So we're just going to take a little bit of this, we're gonna put it right under our brow arch, just give it a little bit of a lift, a little highlight. Now that same shade, this Diamond Ashes, I'm gonna take a teeny bit of it and I'm gonna take that onto my MAC 216, which is a pencil brush, and I'm just going to put it right here. Just like a honest whisper of it. I don't want it to be too crazy in the inner corner. Just like that. Okay guys, that's pretty much the eye look. I'm gonna quickly hop off camera, get rid of these silly ears, and I will be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, and this is the final look. I have to say guys, I am obsessed with the way this looks. It's exactly what I wanted it to be. So when I first looked at this palette, the first thing I thought was not gothic. I think Jeffrey really messed up calling it gothic because let's face it, it does not look like a gothic palette but it is the perfect smoky eye palette. This is the exact look that I envisioned for if you wanted to, you could even do this as like a wedding look, just a very smoldering, sultry, glam moment, very wearable, not so in your face, even though we're using very dark, bold colors, it's not so in your face that you're like, holy crap, that person looks terrifying. Like, it's just beautiful. Guys, this is such a lovely palette. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you'd like a better and more detailed in-depth review, definitely check out the video I've already posted. I will have that again linked in the description box. So definitely make sure you catch that if you haven't already. 
Okay guys, drum roll. So the official date that I'm gonna be posting the mystery box reveal as well as the giveaway winner is going to be on June 25th. So please guys, make sure you've subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss that video. When I tell you I've outdone myself this time, I've outdone myself this time. When you guys see what I've put in this box, you are going to be shooketh to the core, to the core. I can't wait, like I'm almost more excited than you guys. Like I can't wait for you guys to see what's inside the box as well as to reveal the winner. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked it and I hope I gave you some inspiration for those of you who also purchased the palette or who are going to be purchasing the palette this Saturday. Please guys, make sure you leave a comment down below what did you think of this eye look? Do you want me to do something more goth? Do you want me to do something more wearable? Please leave me your thoughts down below and please make sure you subscribe. It really helps me out when you guys subscribe and I will catch you on the next video. Bye guys.